Have you ever been inside a hobby shop and you saw this totally rad bodacious model car and you wanted to know what was in that box before you bought it? Today I'm going to show you this amazing testers three car set. However, I'm not going to do all three cars in this video. I'm going to do one at a time for the next three videos. And if you can survive to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a really bodacious looking model car kit that you might want to see next. Quit all that jive talking, Trevor. Let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Now we go all the way back to the 1980s showroom as we check out the Pontiac Firebird by Testers. Now since we don't have a box for our really terrific looking 1980 Firebird, I thought it would be most excellent of myself in order to put these parts out for you just to see. So here we have our body. And again, this is molded much like the Camaro, except this one is in a nice shiny gloss red. Now here's where it gets a little bit different. We've got that nice turbo hood with the scoop on there and the rear bumper. There's our front bumper and all those different types of uh, details like side mirrors and whatnot. There's our interior tub bucket. Again, I do believe this is shared with the Camaro. There we've got our front wheels. Nice looking Pontiac style wheels right there. There's our chassis pan with all the different uh, mufflers and things molded into place. And then we've got the rear axle and dashboard. I do believe I'm getting that Camaro vibe again. However, it's pretty much the same car anyway. Although some people will get mad at me saying that. <laughs> and here we finally have our glass. So let's take this thing over to Danny the dog where he'll show you those awesome instructions. Thank you, Trevor. Hey, I noticed something here. I took a better look at this and uh, look right here. You'll see that the model of the Pontiac has the correct 1980 wheels up here. But if we look down here at the wheel assembly step, these are the wheels for the 1980 Camaro. So somehow testers made a mistake in here. And I'm sure glad we got the three pack because it's easy to switch the wheels. But if I bought this separate, I'd be a little upset that these are the wrong wheels for the car. Now much like the Camaro that we reviewed a while ago, this is the same exact chassis with the same exact upper A-arm assembly right here. The plastic axle goes through all this and then the wheels glue on. Then out back here we've got the rear differential, a little bit of the exhaust, and our leaf springs which all go onto the back of the chassis. There we've got our completed wheels and the axle going through there. Our next panel shows the interior going together. We've got the nice plastic tub and our two front bucket seats as well as the shift lever and boot. And then there's our steering wheel and that nice dashboard again. Panel 5 shows our 1980 Firebird getting the body put together. And there we've got our little T-tops which pop in onto the glass. And then we've got our Pontiac motor. Again, this is the uh, valve covers intake manifold distributor. And then you pop on the air cleaner. Now it does say to paint this silver, but you might want to look up the Pontiac color. I do believe it's like a light metallic blue. Now this panel shows our Pontiac front end being snapped into place with the nice square headlights that pop in there. And then our body drops down onto the interior as well as the chassis. Our next panel shows the hood being snapped into place. It hinges here on the back. We have our side view mirrors which pop in those holes. And then our little sugar scoops which will go up here on the top of the front fenders. And there's our license plate and it says DET Iron which is short for Detroit Iron and again another car from Iowa where Captain Kirk lives. Here we have our rear tail panel being glued into place and it says to paint these stoplight red. However the car being molded in red you could almost just leave it. Well maybe it'll give it a little bit of definition. Anyway there's our license plate being popped into the back and again another Detroit Iron Iowa plate. And here we have our nice ultra gloss red Firebird. Now some of these testers kits are molded in different colors. So if you've built this one in the past, what color did you get? Again, nice detail on the turn signal lamps right in here. It's got those scoops that just push in from the outside. The back end, the bumper and all that goes into those little holes. And the chassis pan goes into the slot. Same with up front there. Again, very nicely done. All the uh, engine detail is molded in place, including this master cylinder here. 
and it looks good. So for something so simplistic a snap together, I'll give this one a top mark. And here we have all our nice ultra gloss red parts for our Firebird. That includes the nice turbo hood with the offset hood scoop. There's our rear bumper, our T-tops, which will pop into place, our front end, which kind of has a little bit of a Corvette look to it on the bottom here. And then we've got those side scoops and our side mirrors. Now bringing this up into the camera, you can see the nice quad headlight front end there with the big Arrowhead logo up front. Very nicely done. There is this funny thing here, but that would be for your license plate to pop in. There's the side scoops and the side mirrors. Now, there are mold marks here, so you'll have to sand those down in order to put the reflector in and have that nice and flat. Then if we look at our back end, again, we've got a spot for a license plate. The nice red tail lamps in here and the spoiler, and then that nice turbo hood. Turning it over, there are mold marks and part numbers which need to be sanded off in order to make this look nice and smooth. But overall, I would say that these parts are quite nice considering that this is just a snap together and a quick build. Next up, we have the Firebird chassis, which is shared with the Camaro. And as you can see, it would say 1980 Firebird used under license right there. The detail on this is quite nice and crisp, even though it is very simplistic, designed to be a snap together. There are some big square holes in here, which again are for the rear axle and leaf springs. Overall, quite easy and quite nice to put together. Here we have our interior bucket, and just like the Camaro, the side panels are quite nice in here. The seats look excellent. There are some mold marks up and around on the carpet and top area, and it does have the automatic style pedals or even these, the uh, standard style pedals, kind of hard to tell. But overall, this does look quite nice and it is smooth on the bottom, so it should go into that chassis pan nice and easily. Our next parts tree includes the wheels and wheel backs. These look very similar to monogram style GT Goodyear radials. There we've got our front bucket seats, our axles, our A-arms, our engine with the valve covers, intake manifold and distributor. There's our rear axle and our steering wheel and our dashboard. So taking a look at this closer into the camera, you can see that it's got a nice cassette player in there for listening to Devo and many other cool, cool options. Again, very much this is a part from the Camaro, but uh, with both cars sitting on the shelf, they'll look awesome. Here we have our chrome parts tree, although it is molded in aluminum. There's some really nice Pontiac wheels on here, which look accurate. We've got our air cleaner, as well as the license plates and our gear selector with the boot in here. And again, very nice crisp detail. You can even see the wheel lugs on those wheels. The nice uh, ripple on here for the paper element that goes onto our air cleaner. This would be either a paper or a rubber, just uh, to get the air cleaner over to the top of the radiator. And then there we've got our license plates and that boot. So again, very nicely done. A few mold marks underneath here, which I'll have to get rid of. Maybe a little off the back of the wheels just to clean it up. But overall, very nicely done for such a simplistic kit. And here we have our windshield, side glass, and rear window for our Pontiac, as well as the four headlight lenses. And again, very nicely done. Simplistic in a bag where it wasn't scratched. There, they actually have the pattern on those headlamps, which I don't know if you can see in this, but it is there. And because they're square, you can't really have them sitting at a weird angle like the circular ones. Again, very nicely done, very crisp, and should just take a few minutes to pop into the car body. I hope you found this video most triumphant in choosing your next model car. Now, as promised, here's a really cool model car video that you should check out next. And if you want to see what model cars I have for sale, check out this cool link over here. It'll take you right to our website. And don't forget to subscribe right down here. Well, I hope you can join us next time as we take a look at more of these amazing kits from the 1980s. And until next time, everyone, be excellent to each other.